Hello, this is Jeff Moy, Archivist of the North Jersey History and Genealogy Center of the Morristown and Morris Township Library, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Frederick Curtis Historic Photograph Collection. Frederick was born in 1863 in Newark, New Jersey. His family then moved to Morristown where he grew up and later found a career as head bookkeeper of the Morris Aqueduct Company. It was through Fred's second career as a studio photographer that he documented many of the individuals, places, and events around Morristown and Morris Township, particularly between 1903 and his death in 1938. The Curtis family later donated the resulting collection of 10,000 photographic prints, 600 glass plate negatives, and detailed notebooks on the subjects to the Morristown and Morris Township Library, where they remain accessible to this day. Frederick and his wife Eliza lived in this Morristown house for several years before moving to a home in Morris Plains. Together they raised three children, a son Charles, and two daughters, Olive and Sarah. The Curtises enjoyed an active life in and around Morris County, as well as maintaining close ties with their extended family. Fred photographed many of Morristown and Morris Township's neighborhoods during a particularly active time of suburban growth in the county. Since many of these homes remain standing to this day, this collection has become an invaluable resource to current homeowners, as well as historians and other researchers. In some cases, we can even catch rare glimpses into the interiors of these homes during an era when people valued their privacy and did not always own a camera of their own. Among the numerous businesses that Fred documented in the area were banks and insurance agents, booksellers, taverns, and hardware stores. And while many storefronts changed over the years, New Jersey's love of good food and entertaining kept many restaurants busy, even during the Great Depression. However, other industries changed with the times. Businesses such as electric appliance retailers and ice cream parlors replaced older manufacturers. One of the collection's great strong points is its visual documentation of Morris County residents throughout the early 1900s. Fred's studio and candid photography captures both aspiring young professionals, blue-collar workers, and the families of recent immigrants. Meanwhile, middle-class residents often displayed symbols of their growing affluence, such as automobiles and well-manicured properties. Teens and young adults are also pictured with family and friends, and during special occasions. Lastly, Frederick also captured a range of weddings, holidays, and other gatherings which have now been made part of the collection. You can find these images and much more, including historic maps, original artwork, oral histories, and rare manuscripts online at mmtlibrary.org. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with more from the North Jersey History and Genealogy Center. Until then, you can follow us on Twitter at NJHistoryCenter or read our articles at morristowngreen.com.